Operation Heavy Metal is bringing something big to Rainbow Six Siege. Something destructive. Something sweet Harry's ghost. What is that noise? Why is everything exploding? What are the actual foot friends? The chaos you're seeing is the work of the Boogie Auto Breacher. This rolling riot wrecks anything destructible in its path and ensures you'll always know when Ram, the new South Korean operator, is in the round. The third season of Year 8 of Rainbow Six Siege is also delivering operator updates for Grimm, Fuse, and Frost, a significant change to shotguns to increase their efficacy. A new weapon roulette mode to mix things up in the permanent arcade playlist, and more. Let's focus first on Ram, the new attacking operator who enters the Siege roster as part of the Red Hammer squad. Led by Thermite, these operators are not known for their delicate touch, so Ram fits right in. Her loadout primaries include the LMGE light machine gun for matching the big and loud theme of her gadget, and the R4C assault rifle for more precision work. Her secondary options are the ITA-12S, one of the beneficiaries of the new shotgun buff, and the MK1 9mm pistol. Bring along stun grenades or a hard breach charge, and Ram is ready to root out her foes no matter where they hide. With, of course, the help of her boogie auto breacher, which allows her to create chaos in three easy steps. Step 1. Choose the direction you want the boogie to go. Straight ahead is the default, but it can also curve left or right. Just toggle the weapon mode like you do for Capitao's bolts, and that's step one, done. Step two, drop it on the ground. Heave it through a barricade. Chuck it at a boarded up window. Once it lands, the boogie is ready to boogie. Step three, activate. Do it right away, or time it perfectly with a team maneuver, or wait until you've snuck around to a more advantageous position. Then, let the chaos commence. The boogie is custom engineered to pulverize a huge swath of destructible floor. And because the boogie just goes once activated, it means that Ram and her friends can find their angles and wait safely until the boogie gives them a clear line of sight to smite their foes from above. The boogie's destructive force applies to whatever is in its path as well. It has no problems bashing down deployable shields, chewing up frost mats, triggering any number of traps, even just motoring right through a soft wall. And if an unfortunate defender happens to be DBNO in the right place at the wrong time, well, like I said, unfortunate. You've also probably noticed that the boogie creates an absolute cacophony, and all that noise is a huge strategic asset that you can use to cover any number of synchronized breaches or fuse cluster chargings. Heck, you can probably get off a sneaky diffuser plant amidst all the hubbub. I mean, will your opponents? really be able to hear an incoming Amaru amidst the explosions, or detect a drone incursion by Twitch or Brava or Flores? Maybe, but there's something about the noise and the fact that the ceiling is turning into a dozen deadly vertical sight lines that tends to be very distracting. Now, despite its bulletproof armor and explosive antics, the boogie can be stopped. An impact grenade, or C4, will destroy it, as will shooting the red canister at the rear of the device. Mute can also stop it before it gets started. His jammers cut off the signal Ram uses to activate her gadget. So if the boogie is deployed in a jammer's radius, it won't go until the jammer is dealt with. Once it's activated, though, it's a purely mechanical operation that cannot be jammed, won't be stopped by electrified wires, and fears neither man nor god. The Boogie Auto Breacher is built to break down defenses, open up opportunities for vertical play, and generally sow chaos and confusion among the defenders so that Ram and her teammates can execute their plans. Operation Heavy Metal is also unleashing operator updates and a new game mode. So let's talk about those for a sec. 
Grim can now toggle his Kawan Hive Launcher to shoot either sticky projectiles or ones that will bounce one time before landing and unleashing the bees. This gives him more flexibility to deploy his intel gathering friends without having to expose his face to his bullet firing enemies. Combined with last season's buff that gave him new loadout options and increased how quickly his bees deploy, how much area they cover, and how long they linger, things are looking grim for Grimm's enemies. Fuse's cluster charges will be deployable on deployable shields. Now, if that strikes you as a very risky maneuver, I agree. You'll also be able to deploy them on Osa's Talon 8 shields, as long as you don't mind showing any nearby defenders exactly what you're up to. And coming later in the season, a change to Frost's welcome mats that will allow you to remove yourself from the metal jaws of death. Though you might still want to wait for a teammate's aid once you hear this next part. After escaping the trap, you are badly hurt, meaning you move more slowly make more noise, and leave a blood trail that defenders can easily follow. These effects wear off after a time, and one day, in the twilight of your years, you might be able to forget the searing agony of your desperate escape. But in the meantime, probably best to continue avoiding frost mats. As for the new game mode in the permanent arcade playlist, it's called Weapon Roulette. It's Team Deathmatch with a twist. Everyone spawns with the same random weapon, and everyone gets the same new random weapon once the roulette timer reaches zero. It's a fun way to flex your skills across the siege arsenal, and you don't really have to worry about getting caught switching in the middle of a shootout because your opponent will be having the exact same problem. There are a few more neat updates coming with Operation Heavy Metal, so let's hit a few highlights real quick. Shotguns are getting a host of tweaks to things like spread, damage, range, and headshot modifier, all aims to make them more consistent and reliable. You'll also be able to make bigger holes in destructible surfaces if you hipfire them while moving. All the better to shape the map to your advantage. Note that these changes do not affect slug shotguns like the TCSG-12, ACS-12, and Boss G. You'll also notice a few changes when you hop into Quick Match. Rounds now begin with a few basic walls already reinforced, and a few rotation holes already opened up. Plus, in the first few seconds of the round, defenders will be unable to shoot outside or run out, giving attackers a welcome reprieve from spawn peeking. All of these updates and more are coming for free to Rainbow Six Siege when Operation Heavy Metal launches. The new operator, Ram, and her boogie auto breacher will be unlockable at season launch through the premium battle pass and available two weeks later for purchase with Renown or R6 credits. Get the latest Rainbow Six Siege updates by subscribing to this channel and visit us at news.ubisoft.com.